Hello and welcome to Sharmila's Kitchen. Today I'll be sharing chicken popcorn recipe. It's famous KFC's recipe, but today I'll be making in my style which got more better taste and delicious. So first, let's marinate the chicken. Add lemon juice for marination or if you want you can add vinegar. Now salt, pepper according to your taste and ginger garlic paste. For measurements of the ingredients, check my website www.shamlaskitchen.com. Just mix all of them and keep it aside for 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's season our flour mixture. I have all purpose flour, in that I am gonna add equal amount of corn flour, salt, paper, onion and garlic powder mix. If you want, you can add them separately. Turmeric powder for color, red chili powder to make it really hot. If you are making this for your kids, you can skip chili powder. Just give a mix and keep it aside. I need egg white for this recipe, so I am gonna separate egg whites from the yolk. Take a separate bowl and crack the egg in the middle. Hold the egg so that the cracked part is facing up. Let the whites fall into the bowl and keep the egg yolk in one half of the shell. Transfer the egg yolk from one half of the shell to the other for two to three times. And make sure that egg whites separate completely from the yolk. I need two eggs white part. So this is done. I am gonna add little milk, salt and paper. Whip up until smooth. Take out half of the flour mixture in a plate or tray. Now put all the chicken pieces in that mixture and coat them well. What it will do is it will absorb excess moisture so that it coat with the egg nicely. I have this colander. I'm gonna put the chicken pieces in this to remove all excess flour. Then dip in the egg mixture. Ensure that each and every pieces are coated completely. Now the chicken pieces are coated well. I am gonna put them again in the colander to drip off excess egg mixture. I am doing like this to avoid kitchen mess. If you directly put in the flour, it will form lump. Excess flour mixture will stick to the chicken and the end result will not be good. And one thing I must say, don't use hand to do this because this dry and wet mixture will stick badly in your hand. I experienced it. It may look complicated but it's not really like that. Now I'm gonna mix oats with our spiced flour mix. This oats will add nice crunch to the popcorn. And put the chicken into oats and flour mixture for final coating. Coat them really well and sieve them by colander again. What happen is when you are gonna fry this in the oil, the oats will fall off and the oil is not in condition for later use. This way ensures that if there is any excess oats or flour, they will fall down so that when we will fry this, the oil will not spoil. The another way you can do is refrigerate for 20 to 30 minutes to make sure that coated chicken pieces are formed well. I already kept the oil for heating up. Now drop the chicken pieces generously. Allow to cook until one side is sealed well. Now it's time to clip them. Keep flipping after every one or two minutes to get even coloring. Otherwise, one side will be extremely brown whereas other side won't. So keep your eyes open and keep flipping. Let it cook until nice golden brown and crispy. After 4 to 5 minutes, the chicken pieces are slightly colored and tender, soft and juicy, but not too much crispy. If you like soft chicken popcorn, you can take out in this stage. 
but I would like to fry them more because I want more crispier and crunchy chicken. Now they are done like I want more crispy and crunchy. Take out on absorbent paper. Now I am gonna make popcorn masala which will make my popcorn super tasty. In a small bowl add chat masala, paper, salt, red chili powder and give a good mix. Sprinkle this masala on the chicken popcorn. Also add lime or lemon juice. It will give an extra zing to your taste buds. So my chicken popcorn with masala is ready to munch. I'm gonna serve with tomato ketchup. Hello and welcome to Sharmila's Kitchen. Today I am here with another finger licking chicken snack recipe that is hot and saucy chicken. It's juicy, spicy and so tasty. I have developed the taste of the recipe like KFC's hot and saucy chicken. So without wasting any time, let's see how can we make it at home easily and enjoy anytime, anywhere. So let's marinate the chicken first. I have about 300 gram chicken here and I'm gonna start with vinegar, salt, pepper and ginger garlic paste. Mix them well and give them at least 30 minutes to marinate. Now take a shallow plate and add corn flour, refined flour, red chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. This dry mix we will be using to coat the chicken. For the recipe quantities, make sure you visit my website. The link is showing on the screen and also put in the description below. Now beat an egg and put straightly on the chicken. Mix well and now coat them with dry spicy flour mix. Also add breadcrumb and crushed cornflakes. Make sure every chicken paste is coated well with these dry ingredients. It's better to use hand to do it properly. Keep the breaded chicken pieces in another plate. Now heat lot of oil in a pan because we are going to deep fry them. Pour in enough oil so that the chicken immerse in the oil completely. Now the oil is hot so put the chicken pieces slowly one by one. Make sure you don't overcrowd the pan, else it's very difficult to handle. Keeping the flame on medium-low mode, I'm going to fry the chicken pieces so that at the same time they got nicely cooked inside and that's the way to get soft juicy chicken inside and crisp outside. The chicken meat is very tender so it doesn't take too much time to be cooked. So the chicken is almost done, fried and perfectly cooked now, so it's ready to take out. Keep them on kitchen napkin to absorb excess oil. Now let's make the sauce in which I'll be tossing my fried chicken. Throw some chopped garlic in hot oil and chopped chilies too. Give a saute until you get sharp smell of garlic ooze out. Add tomato ketchup, soy sauce, give a gentle stir and add water. Let it cook. In the meantime, mix corn flour with some water. It will thicken our sauce and keep it ready aside. Let's back to our sauce. Add half teaspoon chili flakes and one tablespoon oregano. Stir again. Now I'm gonna add corn flour slurry, just a tablespoon or so. As soon as it has started thickening up the sauce, add chicken pieces. Toss well. Make sure the chicken pieces coated well with sauce. Now the chicken pieces are drunk the hot and spicy sauce well. Every bite will give you experience of soft, juicy, hot and succulent chicken. 
give this a try and share your experience with me before you go hit the like button comment and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you soon with another great episode till then take care hello and welcome to shamila's kitchen I got so many requests to make chicken lollipop. So in this episode, I'll be making this lovely tempting Indo-Chinese dish which is made out of chicken wings. Then they will be deep fried in a delectable batter and served in a red spicy sauce. So let's get started. Here I got 14 chicken lollipops. Simply these lollipops are made from chicken wings. You can get them from butcher shop or buy from the market. First I'm gonna marinate the chicken pieces with salt, ginger garlic paste, pepper, and soy sauce I leave this for 30 minutes aside for resting now in the meantime let's make the batter in which chicken lollipops will be coated and then deep fry in the hot oil so take a bowl break eggs and whisk add salt red chili powder 4 tablespoon refined flour and 2 tablespoon corn flour give a whisk add water and make a lump free batter I prefer using Kashmiri red chili powder because it adds nice red color with less spiciness if you want you could add little red food color now the batter is like pouring consistency this is perfect get ready your oil in a deep pan just coat the chicken lollipop with the batter and drop in the hot oil one by one keep the flame high to begin with and then lower the heat till wings are almost cooked through They are done. Take out and drain on absorbent paper. Now my chicken lollipops are ready. Now let's make our chicken lollipops more interesting and tasty like the restaurant served. I am gonna prepare sauce in which chicken lollipops will be tossed. So to begin with heat 3 tablespoon oil in a pan, add lot of chopped garlic and ginger about one and a half tablespoon just give a nice saute now add one teaspoon soy sauce little vinegar and red chili sauce add little water to prevent burning the sauce I have not added salt to this because I have already added salt to the marination of chicken and batter and sauce also contain enough salt to season the dish. If it requires, add little bit of salt. Now add fried lollipops to the sauce and a generous toss. Add chopped spring onion for final touch and take out. Garnish as you wish. I have bell paper bowl here in which I serve some salads along with my saucy chicken lollipops. It's looking tempting right? As you can see how easily you can make it at home. It's perfect for all occasions. You can make them for your kids' birthday party, anniversary, dinner or for a simple snack. Its unique presentation will make you more hunger and it's really a fun way to eat chicken wings. You can wrap a piece of foil paper around the bony part to give it a more presentable look. Hope you guys like my recipe. Do subscribe my channel for more delicious chicken recipes. You can also visit my website, Facebook and Twitter page. The links are given in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.